Hey folks, this is Matt Rainwater here, and here is another episode of uh, Trailer Park Warlock Commentaries. So, of course, this is intended as a sort of a director's commentary of the story. Um, I'm rereading it for the first time in a long time, and so this is also an opportunity for you to kind of get my reaction to the story as I'm rereading it, because, I mean, it's, it's old. <laughs> It's still good. It's old, though. It's older work, so, you know, there's a lot that's changed. There's a lot that's improved. Um, and it's interesting to see that stuff. Like, even just this first panel of Episode 5, I can see one little thing where um, I am us I'm using a serif eye in asking. Um, and if I would definitely want to go back and fix that to where it's an unserifed eye. But anyway, just an example. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's get started. If you don't mind me asking, what's a warlock like yourself doing with all that clay? All right. Oh, you know, same as everybody else. Pottery, kitchenware, golems. We have Jake here loading a giant box of clay into his truck. And uh, it would look as though the wheels are buckling under the weight. Trailer Park Warlock, Episode 2, The First Day. That's something that changed is I didn't, I, uh, I think, I wonder if this is just an, uh, a first season thing. Because I don't, I don't list the episodes in Season 2. I forgot I did that. Anyway, clang, clong, clang, strike, clong. We got Jake driving in the uh, Colorado landscape in his truck. Back of his truck is scraping on the scraping on the road. Scrack, clang, unk, scrack, clang, honk, honk, honk. There's this pissed off lady over here. A lot of honking. This is a very, very simple panel layout. Um, I would draw that differently now, <laughs> but it works. I like I like what I did with the trees here, where they're kind of like faded out in the background. Honk, honk. Jake is taking a sip of liquor there. Don't drink and drive, folks. <laughs> and now we cut to. Jake's trailer. His truck is parked in front, barely holding together. He's letting down the tailgate. And he's trying to get this box of clay out. Urf. Arg. Clang. Womp. And the box of clay is basically taking out the uh, the tail end of his tailgate. And his truck looks like it's pretty bad shape. Now Jake's reaching in his pocket for something. His jacket has changed a lot. <laughs> I'm noticing his weird, like, um, I don't know what you call them. I, there's two button-looking things. They're way too big to be buttons. Are on his, uh, is that his left side? And they're usually on his right. Click, click, click. And he's getting out a box cutter. Shrick. I like this panel a lot, actually. I really like his expression. Um, the way he's looking at this clay, like, oh. <laughs> Plop. What you making there, mister? Hmm? Excuse me? You making something? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so I'm just noticing in this panel... Like, Nate's overalls barely fit him. I guess that... I was just thinking, like, oh, well, his character models changed a lot into later on uh, in Trailer Park Warlock, but that should make sense because he's kind of... He's probably grown a little, so he can actually fit into his overalls. So, anyway, what was I... Sorry, y'all. Yeah. What is it? A golem? 
cool. Can I watch? I suppose. As long as you don't mind giving me a hand. And we see Nate running over to the box of clay. And he gets a bunch of clay himself. Or he's giving it to Jake, I should say. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Thanks, kid. What you gonna do once you make that golem? Oh, well, uh... You know, just have a hired hand around the place to help with some of my warlock stuff. Neat. My granddaddy was a warlock, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he made a golem one time, too. But he had to lock it away. Foreshadowing. <laughs> really? What happened? Guess it broke or something. I hear it happens. What are you staring at, kid? This is a good panel. I like that panel. I like, I like, um, the way I drew Nate in that panel. Well, I was just wondering. The clay? Sure, go for it. He's got so much now. Anyway, why wouldn't he? Yes! So Nate is reaching for some clay. Plop. I guess he's starting to make something himself. This is a nice scene. This is a very quiet episode, which is unique about it. Ploop. So Jake's starting to make his golem. You see the sun going down. Darla was, like, really hanging out at Jake's place a lot in these early episodes. Which is, I'm, I'm sure, why a lot of people were, like, thinking, uh, what was I going to say? Which is why I think a lot of people were thinking that, uh, like, they were living together. Certainly gave that impression. But that wasn't the case. Gotta say, I'm less than thrilled with my results. <laughs> and this golem just, like, looks like an abomination. <laughs> You, on the other hand, not too bad, kid. Thanks, Miss... Nathan. Nathan, get over here. So I've had to... Um, I've actually... So in season three, I redrew Nathan's mom a little bit. Cause she figures in just a bit into the story. And this is definitely like an early character design. Probably like, what? Seven, year old, seven years old character design. What did I tell you about talking to strangers? Hey, kid, what about your... You can keep it, mister. Oh, well, thanks. Bye. <laughs> this is a pretty funny scene. So Jake's looking at his golem. Thump. Hey, Darla. Come check out the golem I made. And we end on that episode. So Jake is being a little bit dishonest there. All right. Well, uh, as always, I have fun doing this with y'all. And I will have the next episode up uh, tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow morning, I'll record it. And that will finish off this. Well, actually, it won't. That's right. This is not a two-parter. This is a can't remember mini parter um everything having to do with jake's golem is going to be fun so anyway i will see y'all again next time and uh y'all have a good one all right bye wait let me find the turning off button bye